this is Shadi. Today I want to talk about the Saitiev brothers Adam and Buvaisar. This is a topic that has been requested quite a bit and I'm gonna talk about it through judo eyes of course. So if I say any technical terms in Japanese etc know that I'm seeing it through judo. I know they're wrestlers and I know that they are absolutely amazing. However, just when you add a little bit of aesthetics to grappling, it becomes something, nothing short of divine in my opinion. And this is something that I truly appreciate. So how everything just connects together regardless of the discipline. But before we do that, please don't forget to check out my book, the origins and history of judo available in French and English both bilingual with modern Japanese and thank you all who has already supported it the link will be below so first let's start with Adam um, he seems to have a, a big love for uh, Ochigari and then here finished with a leg grab so this inner reap finished uh, with a leg grab is something that is not too strange to judo this has been done for a while Justin Flores was big on it here uh, Satoshi Ishii with Fanatics explains that uh, one way that you can finish it and really take them down is by blocking their legs either with one or two so when I debated about Morote Gari with the new rules even with the Japanese ones if you want to go for two hands that's one way to do it is through uh, combinations so here um, this one I really appreciate it look at how he threads and goes to the side and then backwards scooping both legs yes even though he's using one arm but it's like a reverse kind of like this grip here but it's reverse now why I appreciate this because this is the basic form of the scooping throw in judo however you do not see it even back in the day and yet here he pulled it off uh, beautifully now this combo blew my mind so it's an inner reap transformed into a scooping throw off the hips again amazing here is another one and okay here's why i appreciate this so there's scooping throws there's many variations of the scooping throw so you can either grab both legs and scoop them up and slam like a big double leg or you can just counter attack someone grip the leg scoop it up and then rotate them lift them or load them on to your hips now in judo usually back in the day at least uh, you would see this you'd see a feint with the scooping throw finished with the inner reap because they are standing on one leg this is kashiwazaki one of his favorites he didn't just do sacrificing throws but you can find him all over uh, teaching this at seminars as well so he would scoop up but then doesn't finish it with a lift but rather he attacks the standing leg with an inner reap again the fact that adam reversed the order makes it more beautiful in my opinion so let's see here some uh, acrobatic uh, defenses and attacks so he was just absolutely insane here just imagine that the strength of the neck that he had to defend like this so of course picking the ankle is a wrestler's favorite uh, you, you see it a lot and there's just so many ways that you can pick an ankle and uh, it's uh, it's always great to see it so here you see the, the pins with lacing of the legs very similar to what we see sometimes in uh, judo so now here is his brother doing a tawara gaishi against uh, a single leg so here you see it um, as they attack you drop your weight bring your legs close and I think he kind of did a, a mix of sumi gaishi and tawara gaishi by uh, shooting his leg up but here you can see a uh, yoko otoshi uh, and by both brothers actually so here you see it now yoko otoshi is uh, an interesting one because it can kind of blend into other techniques so a lot of the fireman's carry that we see today in judo is actually this technique you just happen to have the sleeve wrapped around your neck 
and then you drop like this and you roll over doesn't necessarily mean it's a fireman's carry sure maybe it started as a fireman's carry but it ended as a side drop like this and you see it also in freestyle wrestling as well so you have to have the leg deep and uh, again similar to Adam uh, Buvaisar had a very good defense as well a very acrobatic and athletic so there's no wonder why they have these uh, titles so you look at this uchimata that they do also as well and this uh, cradle or uh, pin that they do i think it's called cradle so look at this a rolling scissor now uh, the reason why this is somewhat safer it's because there's no slack with the jacket where you are hanging off to the side pinning the knee and thus it breaks but rather he's has his upper body on the ground and he's just rolling his feet like a windmill and then uh, making a uh, scissor takedown so uh, you can see here this is a fireman's carry and an ankle pick of course everyone knows even in judo it was a big especially in counters so uh, again it's very aesthetic you see this mix here with the inner reap by the with the ankle pick and the inner reap in general they both were big fans of it and of course you have your uh, traditional uh, wrestling or what you see usually uh, in wrestling far more common for example than uh, uchimata or inner thigh throw and you see they had a complete arsenal now i don't know what they trained to be specific because uh, Vlad Kulikov told me that in the past they would train them everything as kids and the Soviet Union he trained freestyle Greco Sambo and Judo so it's not it wasn't just uh, wrestling specific etc a lot of the kids grappled with everything and that's something I really appreciate it will really create a champion basically so uh, I've had my talk with Vlad, I believe, two years ago, a little bit more, and uh, I'll try to share the, the clip when he trained in the Soviet Union. So um, there you go. It's very aesthetic. It's very sublime, I would say. It's very beautiful. And as a judoka, I truly appreciate their wrestling. It's very light and uh, picturesque. So if you have anything to add, please uh, let me know down below. Don't forget to check out my book. The link will be uh, pinned and my Patreon. This was Shady. Thank you for listening.